Hi everybody, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today let's uncover great value Barolo and Barbaresco producers to savor for us Nebbiolo lovers while they are still within the reach. Prices of Barolo and Barbaresco wines have skyrocketed during the last couple of decades. And it's no surprise as the demand for these impressive and age-worthy wines is increasing with every year. Knowing this, some time ago I made a video specifically discussing Barolo wines and pointing out some great value producers that I believed would increase in price over the next decade or so. However, seeing what is happening with prices in the Langa area in Piemonte and understanding that despite Barolos and Barbarescos becoming more and more of an investment wine, I realized that those of us who truly enjoy Nebbiolo grape variety also need wines for opening up and savoring, not just locking up in the cellars. Therefore, I revisited some of my notes from my recent trips to Langa and I wanted to highlight some of the labels and producers that still offer great value at the highest quality. This is a gem I discovered by an accident. I usually like to play it safe when choosing a bottle of wine for myself, reserving experimentation for tastings or when ordering wines by the glass. However, this wine caught my eye. I guess, like many other wine consumers, I prefer wine labels with animals on them. Cascina della Rosa is a small estate with only six hectares, of which five are dedicated to wines and the rest to the forest and hazelnut trees. Have you ever tasted Piemontese hazelnuts? Those are to die for. But anyway, back to the wine. They are organically certified and in the cellars still very authentic, with a screw press, maceration lasting for months, and Nebbiolos dedicated to the Barbaresco label, aged in large Slavonian casks. When first trying these wines, I was impressed by the elegance they showed while still retaining the power and structure of Nebbiolo. These wines also show charming floral notes and earthy depth, with none of the elements overpowering the others. When I first encountered this producer, it was one of the most affordable on the shelves. However, nowadays I see that the prices have risen tremendously. Therefore, if you manage to locate a bottle below $50, it is definitely a good bargain. Before we all lose our uh -oh. about Rinaldi, let me emphasize Francesco Rinaldi. And while it is not the legendary Barolo estate, which few of us nowadays can afford, it does share family connections with the famous Giuseppe Rinaldi. But more importantly, it delivers in terms of quality. They have a long history in the area and currently own vineyards and some of the most cherished and important sites in Barolo, such as Canubi, Brunate and Rocca del Annunziata. Rinaldi values tradition and indeed wines here are made with long maceration on the skins and extended aging in neutral Slavonian botti. The regional Barolo is made from grapes harvested in Barolo, La Morra and Castiglione Falletto and it definitely offers amazing value for the money. Even their single vineyard bottlings are surprisingly affordable and I often wonder how long will that last, given the overall excitement about this region and the very high quality of their wines. Another gem that I have found in one of my trips to Langa Punset is Barbaresco estate located in Neve. The owner and winemaker Marina Marcarino has been working her wines organically and later biodynamically for the longest time. And for a good amount of that period, she has been referred to as the crazy one. Nowadays, she's talking about Fukuaka farming, which she loves is doing nothing, but essentially views humans as part of the nature and believes it doesn't require inputs from outside. Furthermore, she's working as naturally as possible in the winery as well, using only native yeasts and limiting use of sulfites, adding them only right before bottling. And while her wines are produced in a completely different way, without temperature control for example, they stop you for a moment and capture your attention, offering flavors of ripe cherries, wild strawberries mixed with earthy notes of leather and cedar wood. In Barbaresco this is still one of the most affordable labels, but I do think that interest after these wines will grow dramatically in near future. 
Well, there's a reason why more Barbarescos than Barolos are on this list. With very few exceptions, Barbarescos are still more affordable than Barolos. And for a real Nebbiolo fan, Produttori del Barbaresco might not be a surprise, but I still wanted to add it to the list because some might have prejudice against cooperatives. I myself have never had any, perhaps because my first encounters with cooperatives were with Domain Vajau, Cantina Terlano and Champagne Palmer, all great producers. And Produttori del Barbaresco is amongst the very top cooperatives that consistently deliver high quality year after year and furthermore at a very affordable price point. This also includes their single vineyard bottlings which they make only in exceptional vintages. The love and knowledge of this region can be observed when talking with Aldo Vaca, the director of Produttori del Barbaresco, which I experienced last year and deeply regret not setting up a podcast interview with him. Wines made by Produttori are elegant, pure and lively, offering inviting crushed red fruits combined with etherical floral note and are definitely worth seeking out. Giuseppe Domenico Vaira is actually a relatively recent estate in Barolo. Interestingly, throughout my wine career, I have always known and recognized them as a very good producer, and somehow it is yet to receive its international fame, which I believe Vaira truly deserves, but I'm also happy that they are still under the radar. For us wine lovers, that means better prices. Those of you who have watched my video about soils will understand the importance of cover crop. And Vaira notes just passing by that their vineyards have had spontaneous cover crops for around 50 years. That is impressive and certainly rare, highlighting their love and understanding of their land. For their wines, they employ long but gentle maceration, sometimes lasting more than 50 days in stainless steel. The élevage is done in large neutral Slavonian oak. Both their regular cuvée and single vineyards offer great value for the money. Vaira is one of the very rare fine Barolos you can find below 50 euros, and they deliver, offering elegant, refreshing wines with beautiful red cherry fruit accompanied by wild roses and fresh truffles. Anyone who has fallen in love with Nebbiolo should definitely give this estate a try. So here you go, five great estates from Langa to seek out if you love Nebbiolo and you want to enjoy it more. If you have some other Barolo and Barbaresco bargains and finds, share them in the comment section below for me and other wine lovers to explore. And if you want to understand better the subtle differences between Barolo and Barbaresco wines, make sure to watch this video next where I also taste side by side both wines.